you mentioned psychology and then taking us back to the Magnus, even in 2010, the, the Magnus games. But Reddit said that you've spoken about losing to Magnus being a hit on your confidence. Uh, is, is there some uh, truth to that? So is there some aspect about that 2010 match that's not just about Magnus figuring stuff out, but just a hit on confidence? Like how important is confidence at that level when you're both young and like firing out all cylinders? Was well, that... it's not just a problem with me. This is the problem everybody yes, has when they yes. play against Magnus because what happens is, is on a broader level, when you play against somebody, no matter who you're playing against, but when they're somehow able to save positions where they're much worse, almost in miraculous ways, the way that Magnus has done against everybody. He's done it against me, done it against Aronian many times, done it against Cranmick, just about everybody. When, when someone's able to save games, it really starts to affect you because you don't know what to do. And more and more, the more and more times that happens, it starts adding up and it just affects you in a way that it's very, very hard to overcome. And I think every top player has that issue where if they've played against Magnus more than like five times, they've seen things happen in the game that don't happen against anybody else. And then psychologically, it becomes harder and harder to overcome it, which is why I think a lot of the junior players, they don't have this long history and it does affect them. As far as myself directly, um, Certainly after that match, though, it was not the same playing against Magnus because I viewed him completely differently, too. After all those games where he was saving these these end games, I started to think like this guy is superhuman. But you can't really have those thoughts when you're playing competitively. But in the back of your mind, it's always there. And I think every top player has that issue. Is there a way to overcome that? Because you have to. I don't know if I'll necessarily do better against Magnus going forward, but I felt that when I p started playing against him more than just a game here or there in classical chess, d during the pandemic, I played him in these online tournaments, it seemed like every month. Um, I came very close. I beat him in one event. I think I lost in two others and then the tour final. But when I was playing against him more and more, if he didn't feel superhuman. It felt like as I'm playing more and more and learning about his style um, that I was doing better. So I think for me, the weird thing is that I just wasn't playing against him that many games. But when I start playing against him, like 20, 30 games during the course of a year, I actually started feeling more confident because I feel like I can compete. Whereas when I was only playing him like three or four times in classical chess in the previous couple of years, it was I wasn't doing great. And then you don't have you don't have those glimpses of you don't have those moments where you feel like you're going to be able to win against him. But when you start playing 20, 30 games and you get these opportunities, even if you don't convert, you feel like you have the chances. Mm -hmm. When you play three or four games and they're you might lose one, draw three, you never have those opportunities. And so you feel very negative about what's going on. When you were able to beat him or not necessarily win the game, but win positionally something, uh, what was the reason? Like technically speaking, the matchup between the two of you, what like where where are the holes that you were able to find? I mean, the the answer I think is actually quite simple. I think it's all psychological, actually, more than anything else. Um, because I didn't it didn't I didn't feel like I was doing anything differently, but I was also not making the mistakes that I was making before. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think it was more psychological than anything on your else. part versus yes. his part. It's it's very weird because when you when you think about chess, it's a mental game. Um, you know, but we 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 all are capable of beating Magnus, all of us. But we all have very very bad scores against him, and I th I think people underestimate how much of a role that plays. Um, and for me, when I played him in these online events in 2020 specifically, I felt like there there was really nothing to lose which also ties into everything else that happened um, during the pandemic as well. But I just felt like there was nothing to lose, and I felt like I was playing very freely, unlike unlike before. Now, that's not to say that Magnus isn't a better player, that like somehow I expect to beat him, but I felt like I wasn't making the same mistakes that I was making in the previous years.